Hello, this is Aldo from ExerNinja.com. Today we're going to be looking at how to clean data. You have your uh, sales information, so you have your date, salesperson, product sold. Someone's input manually all this information about the name of the salesperson. And uh, somehow they've made a few mistakes. So you can see initially it's fine, Robert, George, and then they start making a few spelling mistakes. Um, and you've got hundreds of rows like this. How do you clean up the data uh, so it's uh, it's it includes a proper name of the salesperson? And here you have those names. You know, these are your salespeople. Um, so you want to have these names here. Uh, so what we're going to do? We're going to be adding another uh, column called clean names. Um, and to do this, we will be using our VLOOKUP. First of all, let's find out and which are the wrong names. Um, I'll copy, Control C, back to the top, Control V. And what I do now, so this is the whole selection of people that have sold something. So what I want to do now is to remove duplicates, just to make sure I've only, I only have the ones that are actually wrong. So I've got 22 unique values remaining. So instead of the seven names, I've got 22. Uh, what I'll do, I'll now put them in alphabetical order, just to make it a bit more uh, clear. So as you can see, there's three ways that Brittany has been uh, spelt. So what I'll do, I'll copy and paste Brittany. I'll do the same for George. Uh, this is John. So what I'm creating here is the basis for a lookup table, um, which basically will tell um, Excel that when it encounters a wrong name, it will need to change it to the right one and I'm also telling Excel which is the right one. So now I have created this list, this range of names. What I'll do, I'll use a VLOOKUP table. So for each name, I'll say VLOOKUP and then I'll want to have a look at the salesperson name there. I want to reference it to the range I've just created so that two false so then it picks up the corresponding right name from this um, range of course if the name is right it'll pick up the right name anyway but as you can see let's have a look there you go Robbie, robert Robbie, robert lisa lisa uh, these are right let's have a look etc etc and then I can copy and paste this formula all the way down I go under 58 rows you could have more maybe and what you have now is essentially the sales information that you started off with but you have a column which has the right name so then you can use this for reporting etc etc if you want you can uh, delete this one but make sure before you do that uh, because the whole thing uh, hinges on the fact that the lookup table re uh, looks at this one so if you delete it uh, then it, it sort of disappears so what you want to do you want to copy the whole range with the formulas the VLOOKUP, VLOOKUP formulas copy paste special values so what you can see now is that basically there's only the values there's no more formulas so you can happily delete that and you'll still be left with the clean names.